So it's about to be the new year. And one thing that I started doing, I don't know, probably a year or two ago, maybe three years ago, is the top five-ish books that I got the most out of, I kind of set those up on my shelf and I reread them or re-listen to them at the beginning of every year just so they're like fresh in my head. Just because I think I got the most out of those books. And the most important part of really learning anything is repetition, right? That's how you get good at anything is repetition, right? So going through these books, a lot of times you find things that you maybe missed before. Um, so I'll share, I guess, four books that have made like a big difference in the way I think and the way I see things. And I think are awesome books that literally everyone should probably read in school, but we read garbage in school. So that's uh, how that goes. But first book is Mindset by Carol S. Dweck. <laughs> super awesome book about mindset so this is a book that i read pretty much every year um the magic of thinking big probably one of i don't really have a favorite book there's probably like a top five so as you can see the amount of um notes that i've taken in these books is is crazy um so these two books are definitely like top 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 favorites uh, next one the law of attraction again awesome book awesome awesome book the law of attraction is like the law of gravity and uh, if you don't believe that you don't believe that but you should because it is a law um, and then probably see I can't even say like ah, this is my favorite book because like all four of those or three of those books are just amazing right and never split the difference. This book, I love this book so much. I could just keep rereading it and rereading it. And I'm getting to the point where, like, at least with those four books, that, you know, like when you read something and you kind of like already, like when you watch a movie and you've watched it like 10 times, you kind of already know what happens and you know like how it goes. That's kind of like how I'm with those books. But every single time you reread it, you always get like something new, something, you pick something up that you maybe uh, didn't before or, Maybe you think about something differently than how you thought before, right? So it like it just like hits you different, right? So I think that's super important because I think a lot of people just read a shit ton of books and maybe don't get anything out of everyone. They kind of know like just, but they don't like really know what that book was talking about and they'll actually believe it, right? If honestly, either one of those books, if you just took one of those books and applied every single thing that like in the magic of thinking big or mindset and applied that like religiously to your life like non-stop your life would be like insanely better right so those were probably like my top favorite books my top like other favorite book about like mindset is can't hurt me by david goggins um if you haven't read it you should read it and you should also listen to it on audio because he actually reads it and he tells like more in-depth stories um, which is really really cool so that's again one of my other favorite books and then the classic the best book I think ever written um, Rich Dad Poor Dad and it, to me it's crazy because like I've read this book and even though I could probably literally tell you um, just like you can probably open the book and be like okay in this chapter <laughs> What do they talk about? And I could probably tell you like the exact thing that they talked about in, in that uh, in that chapter. I've read and listened to this book so many times, um, but like it's just such a good book. But to me, the crazy thing is, I've given this book to people to read, and I've told people about it, and a lot of people like read it or listen to it, and they're just like, "Yeah," and I'm like, "So." <laughs> <laughs> nothing like a little, little hamster didn't like you know speed up on the wheel or nothing like clicked or nothing like to me like when I read this book I was just like okay my hamster started ripping like that little his little wheel was on fire okay so anyway so these four five six I can't count six books 
um, I think are the best books ever. I'll make a list in the description below, but these, there's so many books that are good, but these are probably like my, my top, top favorite. Um, mind you, I hate reading and I've always hated reading and I have favorite books, which should say a lot. So Magic of Thinking Big, Mindset, Never Split the Difference, and Law of Attraction. These book are ama books are amazing. And if you're local to me and you want to read this one or this one, let me know. I have like 10 on my um, bookshelf because I like them so much and I give them away to people. So hopefully they can, uh, I don't know, change their mind and be apply themselves more to reach their full potential. Let's call it that. So anyway, these are my top favorite four books. If you have some top favorite books, let me know what they are. Maybe it's something I haven't read. Um, I'm always looking for new books to read that are good. So let me know down in the comments if you have a good book to read. And uh, like I said, if you're local to me, let me know. And uh, I'll let you either borrow one or you can have one as long as you read it and give it to someone else so they can learn some stuff from it. So anyway, have a good night and drop a comment below with your favorite books or if you've read one of these books and are super awesome and you want to tell me how super awesome those books are.